All right, I think I'm here. Just in time. All right, hopefully uh, the audio's good. <laughs> I didn't get any time to do any audio tests because I was too busy working on assets. And uh, I had some things to do beforehand. Anyways, hello. Welcome to... Uh, welcome to Thing, I guess. Welcome to Xbox. Xbox Gamers. Just in time. Hopefully the audio is good. Uh, headphones are completely missing right now. So, I'm gonna be kind of working behind the scenes to, uh, do this. But anyways, welcome to E3. Uh, I'm late to this. I would have, uh, liked to have talked a bit beforehand, but, you know, we'll get into it. This is E3. Uh, you know, the little show. No one usually watches this. Not often, anyways. We got cars! We got gamers! And what I don't have is a cable for my headphones, so this is cool. So hopefully everyone's uh, doing pretty all right today. Game Studios presents video games. The corporate model is the oldest and most efficient structure history has ever shown us. So I'm just going to be um, commentating over this today. We're not really going to be doing like face cam or reactions like super mental. But yeah, welcome. This is Halcyon. Hope you enjoy your stay. Proudly owned and operated by corporations. Everything we have. Everything we are. This looks like Borderlands. We owe to them. They are always with us. No one has ever gone against them. But a stranger has just arrived. And his name someone who's challenging the corporate war is Doom Guy. Someone who's digging up their secrets. And his name is Twitch streamer Ninja with pink someone hair. Could be a villain. Or a hero. Looks like the bleeding stopped. I owe you one. Here, hope this gun serves you better than it did me. Is that or Otacon? Or psychopath. Oh. Did you ever think you'd end up like My time to shine. I'm not quite sure what this game is, but uh, it looks pretty good. I suppose time will tell, but no matter who this stranger chooses to be, the Halcyon Colony will never be the same. Okay, we got shoot, we got jump, we got explosions, we got outer space, we have melting, we have graphics. And we have well, Outer World. All a bunch of swine. Okay. Pretty good. Please welcome, from Ninja Theory, Ronnie Tucker and Ronnie Thumb Tucker. Tucker. No one knows who this guy is. No Phil, huh? Zero out of ten. Gotta leave. At E3 2018, we announced that Ninja Theory had joined Xbox Game Studios. 
a move that has given us an incredible boost in achieving the creative ambition of our teams. We've started work on a number of new games at the studio, and in the near future, we'll be sharing details on all of these projects. When we joined Xbox Game Studios, we already had a very exciting game several years in the making. And we're happy to return to E3 to share this with you. As creative director, I'm stoked to be here to share our new game with you guys. It combines two of my gaming passions, third-person action combat and competitive team multiplayer. And video games. Our technical games. alpha is kicking off in just a couple of weeks, and we'd love for you to sign up, get involved, and tell us what you think. Or if you're here at E3, come and join us for a game. I really, <laughs> I really hope you guys <laughs> like it. She Check seems it so interested this in what she's doing edge. right now. Whoa. I'm trying to overlay a logo right now onto the stream layout, and it's not really working out for me. Oh, here we go. Thick. Dummy thick. Colonel. Yeah, I just can't get this logo to uh, work right now. Like, this is all I can get to, to, to load. For some reason, the 2019 is being cropped out. So, I don't know what's going on. So. I guess we'll just do it this way. See, but that's not working either. See, I don't know what streaming is, so <laughs> I'm just gonna ignore that. We don't need a logo. You know who you're watching. Also, how's it going, Sky? Oh, we got Ori. Okay. But yeah, um, if you'll excuse me for a moment while this is going on, um. Yeah, welcome to stream. <laughs> this is E3. Um, I'm not going to be doing face cam or anything. I don't know why I turned on these lights if I'm not going to be doing the face cam, but I did. Um, we're going to turn that down a little bit. I wonder if we'll get Steven Smash. Doubt it! Kind of highly doubt it. But, you know, we'll see. Uh, let me know if the audio is good. I want it to be, um, audible, as you will, but uh, obviously I don't want it to drown me out. I fixed my microphone, by the way, as well. So. Miyamoto is confirmed to be coming into this Microsoft conference? Really? Also, Ori is a great game, by the way. Oh shit. Well... I hope you guys can hear the audio from the stream alright. And I'm not too overbearing. And I hope you'll, uh... Enjoy this. What the fuck is this? Oh, is this that, um... Oh, I've heard about this. I forget what it's called. We talked about this on my stream once. This is like that Minecraft RPG. Not the Telltale one. Wow! I forget what this thing is called.
It's basically an MMO. With Minecraft graphics. Actually, some of these textures are a little bit of a step up from Minecraft. Uh, dungeons. Graphics. Local and online. That's good. I like local play. I don't have any friends that would play that with me, but hey, that's good. Please welcome the head of Xbox, Phil Spencer. Phil Spencer! There's my man here to announce that Banjo will never come back! Woo! Alright guys, show's over. I'm gonna leave now. We've seen Phil. See you guys later. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, I'm back we Bill Spencer. On Team Xbox live for this exact moment. The moment we get to share the best of our art form here with you in LA. I'm going to turn and my audio up. You get to experience breathtaking new stories, new worlds, and new heroes for the very first time. Wow. This moment isn't just about finding some new games. Anybody got it's a about discovering bingo sheet your new for this games. E3? This decisive moment of discovery is etched in your gaming history. Alongside your every achievement, your every moment, your every Don't new friend. Don't worry about this. This is why we on Team Xbox are always stop that and will be dedicated stop. to unleashing get, get, the next Phil, get new out of the way for you no. to discover and love so whether you're one of the thousands with us here in microsoft theater I'll, uh, i got you guys i'll make one up or one of the billions around the world who play games welcome to e3 2019 welcome to gamer All right, I'm going to make us a, right a bingo sheet right now. This is the single most creative and energizing time in gaming history. Games and gamers together now have the sheer magnitude to be a significant unifying force for the world. This, the this won't be very aesthetically amazing, has but... a new era of creative possibility. With more games, more creators and more industry players than ever before. And gamers were everywhere. We love in your expensive ass, decades, yeah. The number of players in the world has more than tripled. Over two billion of us now play games in every region and on every continent. Uh, I didn't see anyone in Zimbabwe release, playing Halo last year, sorry. Whatever Stop we want, trying to lie to me, Phil. Whatever we want and wherever we want. On Team All right. Xbox, every decision is guided by our belief that gaming is for everyone. My team and I are single-minded in our resolve to bring everyone the games they want, to connect everyone to play with the friends they want, and to empower everyone to play Empower they gamers. Don't worry about the couple of pop-ups that show up every now and then. This is why we innovating hardware and services. It's why we're uniting communities through cross-play. And why, it's why we're investing with new it's, distinctive it, creators. Above all, gaming is for you. This is why we scour the world Gaming is also now a disease. Don't games. forget this, Phil. This today is the largest showcase of games on any stage, anywhere this year. <laughs> Xbox was later sued for encouraging gaming disorder. Today, from the thousands of games in development across Xbox One and Windows PC, we're highlighting 60 games for you. 60? Okay. Including 14 games from Xbox Games. I thought he was about to say Fortnite. And over 30 games premiering in Xbox Game Pass. Okay. So you In got words. Now let's make up for it. Games over the show, 
we'll also announce what's next at Xbox Game Studios. <laughs> Sharing our expansive plans for streaming, and of course, revealing more about our next new console. I have an alarm going off so in my pocket. So thank you for joining us today. Let's jump in. I don't know why that's there. All right. What do we got, gamers? Also, the, the E3 card is almost ready. Give me some ideas on what to put into it. We've got some Star Wars. This is probably what uh, they showed off yesterday. I didn't stream that, but... Um, during EA's thing that they did yesterday, they, um, they showed off, or they, they mentioned, uh, memeable weapons, which I found to be nice. So, what are some ideas? Is not yet lost. Right, that was, um... What, what game were they talking about when they said memeable weapon? That wasn't Star Wars, though, was yeah, it? Okay. You all right? Also, no, yeah, this game looks great. Again. It was Apex, okay. World premiere. <laughs> Breathing. <laughs> what the fake footage? Is this a Slender Man game? Peter Shannon, uh, died at one point, went missing on Saturday. This afternoon, the authorities are organizing a search in the Black Hills Forest. Okay, Bullet. Let's find this kid. Wait up, Bullet! Bullet! Could be Resident Evil. It's Final Fantasy VII Remake! Which, okay, so this is a new IP. Okay. CD Project Red. Blade Runner. Yeah, underwear gun. This is, uh, cyberpunk? I 
I don't actually know what to put on this E3 card. This is all that I have so far. You made it. You blowing up all over the news. Are you alone? I just want the money. You got the chip? All right, start her up, Bug. Why don't you go to the bathroom, wash up, we gonna be with you in a minute. Wow. Oh, come on, man. Your neck, it's a mess. While hotel security has yet to comment, we do know the suspect seems to have fled the scene. The graphics are pretty good. That, that man looks like a man and not like a android. Initiating combat mode. Go! Destination confirmed. That's what I'm talking about. All right, in and out. We're rich. Oh, we are going to the major leagues, Jack. Right. <laughs> Jack? Oh, oh sh no. no, 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 no. Okay. Oh. Get to no dying. Now. Mr. Wells' condition is critical. Go! Immediate medical help is okay. required. Just, just hold on. Just... <sighs> Hey, what hey, the hell is going on? All the good that we're gonna have, huh? I'm sorry. Dead in car. The game. Now that's a hidden blade. Take notes, Assassin's Creed. Just take the f chip decks. Every corporal cop in this city is gonna be blasting down these doors after what you and your psycho friend did. We didn't need all this tension, damn it. And nap time for the bad guys. This game actually does look pretty cool. If for the fact that this is probably pre rendered or a cutscene, but you know, visually looks good. Wake the f up, samurai. We have a city to burn. Norman Reedus! Who is that? Please welcome. That's not Norman. Who who is that actor? I don't know. Oh, Norman Reeves. And I'm Kanye West. How's it going? <laughs> no, it's Norman Reeves. Yeah. All right. Good to see you. Thank you. All right. Can I put celebrity right. on my um, bingo card just so I can mark it off? Something. Is that acceptable? I mean, we gotta talk to you about something. CD Project Red. Cyberpunk 2077. This is marking a few things on my list already. A while back. The guys from CD Projekt Red approached me and asked me to be a part of their new project, Cyberpunk 2077. They were going on and on about how they'd create this vast open world with a branching storyline, how you'd be able to customize your character through in-game choices. And it's not something I knew before, but I was excited by. And I'm always drawn to fascinating stories. Yeah. Cyberpunk. Why did he do that? 
is set in a metropolis of the future, where body modification has become an obsession. You play as an outlaw, an enhanced mercenary working in the sleazy underbelly of the city. Yeah. <laughs> yeah! Okay, but let me tell you, the feeling of, of being there, of walking the streets of the future, is really going to be breathtaking. I can tell this dude's passionate about his game. <laughs> You're breathtaking. That's good. You're all breathtaking. All right, all right, all right. So I guess I got to finish this. So tell me. Do you guys want to know um, when there's uh, when it, the release date? Yeah. yeah. All right. Available now. So check this out. Why did he? Whoa, hey, easy. Mr. Han sent me. Am I right for the job? Okay, I'm in. You have gone through to the other side. Let's do this. It's available 2077. Oh, no. April next year. Okay. Soon, TM. World premiere. I... Hmm. What is this? This looks nice. I like hand-drawn games. All right, so this is the best I can come up with for a bingo card, by the way. Just so you guys know. I can't fill them all in, so I'm gonna give up now on that. And pay more attention to the E3. Alright, but I get an instant... Bingo, despite not finishing that, if there's a car on stage, or if someone cries on stage. So, let's have it happen. Cuphead 2! What is this? Oh, here's- here's the battle. Here's the Todds. All right, good art style. I'm liking it. I'm just gonna make the chat a little smaller. Alright. Yeah, I think I'll be getting this game. Battletoads. Looks great. Okay. Moving right along. We spend no time talking about that. I'll just let you do all the talking. <sighs> what is this? This is called not paying attention in math class. Or so, it's just school in general, it looks like. <laughs> uh. 
buddy joke, huh? Uh, there's a Woody Cushion Park voice, huh? Cloud's Crafted World. Yeah, here we go. Final Fantasy Twooly World. What I can't even tell what the what it's trying to say. The font was kind of weird. Baymax. Is this their indie reel? Can we get a full screen stream? I saw a uh, totally accurate battlefield there. I guess this is our indie comp. All launching on Xbox Game Pass. Yeah, there's tabs. Tabs is good. Don't know about much about gnome though. Ooh! I know about that kind of gnome. Ooh, Killer Queen Black! So I don't actually have an Xbox. I guess that much should be clear. For anyone watching this that doesn't really know me that well. But I always watch Microsoft's show. Oh, great. What we need is more neighbor games. They're putting the Game Pass on PC? Okay, well then this is relevant to me. I, that's what I was about to say is, as cool as all these things are, I thought it wasn't going to be relevant to me. But if this is coming to PC, then... Yeah. That, that would be a false statement. Please welcome head of Xbox partnership Shigeru Sarah Miyamoto. Oh, Sarah. Hey, girl. Howdy, y'all. All the ID at Xbox games you just saw will premiere on Xbox Game Pass day one. At Xbox, our Wait, is this service is not out yet? I don't know anything about this service. Through creation, curation, and discovery. The ultimate expression of that passion is Xbox Game Pass. My team travels the globe, seeking out fan favorites and hidden gems, and crafts partnerships with their creators so that you can discover your next favorite game. Mind-blowing experiences Epic adventures. Yeah, look and at that script she's reading. All for you to explore. It has been awesome to see the record breaking success developers have had in Xbox Game Pass, introducing their games to new players and creating lifelong fans. Yeah, but they mentioned launch, day one. What does that mean if it's Pass, already out? Adding more games from more genres. Platformers, RPG, adventure, sports, puzzles, and more every single month. And of course, every Xbox Game Studios title you see today will premiere in Game Pass day one. Yeah, what does that mean? I'm not a real gamer. We are thrilled to announce new titles coming to Xbox Game Pass on console today, including Batman Arkham Knight, Oh, makes you feel like Metro Batman. Exodus, <laughs> Hollow Knight, and Borderlands The Handsome Collection. Okay. I've been meaning to play Hollow Amazing Knight. Amazing games that you can start playing today. Our mission at Xbox is for you to be able to play any game with anyone, anywhere. And we know for yeah, many but what about Mario PC. Kart 9? You can't that do shit about that. <laughs> Last month, we announced Xbox Game Pass for PC. Oh, there's that. Today, 
the Game Pass journey on PC begins. Oh, it's, it's now, out today. PC players can discover their next favorite game with Xbox Game Pass. We have curated over 100 games just for PC, including favorites like Emperor Rome and Football Manager 2019. Ah, yes, finally I can manage a team. And for the first time on PC, starting with Halo Reach, the entire Master Chief Collection. Oh. I thought they were only just doing one Halo game on PC. They're going to do the whole thing? Woo! We are thrilled to share that Xbox Game Pass for PC launches in open beta today. Well, shit. I don't know if that's out now. I would assume yes, but I'm not sure. <laughs> That's all you needed to show was <laughs> one kick and you get the whole point of the game across. Oh, there's a little ferret. Oh, okay, so it looks like um, they're all going to be out by August. $10 a month isn't terrible. Xbox Game Pass for PC is here now. But here's my question. Try it out by downloading the all-new Xbox app on Windows. Is this... Um, and if you want it all... Is this streaming? We have created a membership just for you or is it downloads Xbox of Game these Pass games ultimate downloads okay you get everything i think i'm pretty sold xbox on this Game this Pass seems pretty good over for me 100 great games xbox live gold and unrivaled gaming community and now i might actually get this xbox unironically Game Pass for pc at no additional charge I mean, I could get that, but three, and two of the three features of three, everyone can are useless to me. And play today for one dollar. Oh. Now go discover your next favorite game. My next Whoa, favorite game is Fours of Five. I can't wait till they bring a car on stage again. Real time 4K. I know I'm stupid, but what's fake time 4K? Don't worry about this. Yo, is this real life? I think we got real life graphics on this game. That's literally just LA. Oh, this is Google Maps! Wow! I don't know what this is. It kind of looks cool. There's San Fran. It's just a, it, it, just a flying game, I guess. All right, but when can I enjoy the luscious sights of Gary, Indiana? Microsoft Flight Simulator. Okay, uh, that, that didn't look terrible if you like to uh, explore but not actually leave your house. 
Do you remember a time? Not a huge flight when person built. personally, but and powerful cities collapsed. When the smallest of choices echoed through the pages of history. It was an age of empires. Definitive edition. Age of Empires is um, a little resident sleeper for me, but um, I know there's its fans. Razors, I see you at a donkey's age. Welcome to beautiful Colorado, home to the Purple Mountains Master G of the Rockies. What is this? Hike through colorful canyons. Get up close and personal with a wild and woolly wild. Ice. I'm a drunk gnome. That, home -cooked delicacies. that buffalo Keep just buffaloed into buffalo goofy. buffalo. Visit Colorado Springs. There's so much to see and What is this? Is this XCOM? Winter Wonderland. Meet new people. Make new friends. Colorado has colorful characters and friendly faces uh, everywhere you look. See our beautiful airport. And don't forget to pick yourself up a nifty souvenir. So don't be shy. Colorado's waiting for you. Those are some meme first weapons right there. The uh, first round's on, on you. Oh, yeah. Wasteland. Okay. Okay. Please welcome head of Xbox Game Studios. Yes, I, I, I didn't hear about Wasteland 2 ever, but um, I guess they're on 3 now. Games are at the heart of our mission. Over the last year, we added seven new game development studios to Xbox. I apparently it's missed this guy's name being Matt some Booty. Of studios already sharing new games on our E3 stage. I don't know who this guy is. And, you know, I have the privilege of working with low hanging some of the fruit jokes about, you know, the globe. mattresses and, me, and booties. Great but, studios you know. are about people, teams, and ideas. Our success comes down to one thing. Creating great games that players love. Like Banjo-Kazooie, except we never want to give that one to you. That one's just That's for our staff to play. I'm honored today to announce that joining Xbox Studios is Double Fine Productions. <laughs> yeah! Who? Great job, Double guys. Fine has been you bought a another one of creativity and spirit in game development for almost 20 years with classic games like Psychonauts, Brutal Legend, and Broken Age. Oh, Psychonauts! I know that one. To double fine joining Xbox. I didn't play it, but I know of what it. What we create together. Please join me in welcoming the founder and president of Double Fine Productions, Tim Schafer. Reggie. Oh, that's not Reggie. Hey guys, remember when um, Resetter was Hello. like, thank Reggie you. is teasing thank Mother 3. So and thank you, Matt. We are so excited to be joining Xbox Game Studios. Because of his and Twitter post you, about Matt, Mother's Day. Prefer, but I'm a team player. Whatever you need from Double Fine, <laughs> make for you. Oh uh, shit, Halo it's Jack stuff, Black. <laughs> uh, Forza stuff. Excel stuff, whatever you want, we are there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Tim, we Forza just want stuff. You to make great games. Oh, that's such a relief because I was totally lying. <laughs> In that case, we brought a brand new trailer for Psychonauts 2. Take a look if you dare. Okay. 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 My 
My name is Raz, and today is my first official day on the job. This kind of sounds like the start a of a um, I'm on him. creepy pasta. <laughs> and then I bought Mario 64 at a garage sale, and it was haunted. This game looks like a trip. Oh my god. Ah. World, World premiere. premiere. Oh, here it is. Oh no, it's not that game. I was literally just talking about this the other day. Literally yesterday. An HD Lego collection. All nine films, one new game. I might get it. I just feel like if I stream that game, uh, Disney is gonna like shoot me in the leg with like copyright claims. Anyways, so here's Dragon Ball. My history with Dragon Ball is I've watched maybe three episodes of the anime in my life, and that's all I have related to anything. Oh, Goku is dead. What a shame. So is this Xenoverse 3? Or is this something else? Oh. It's an action RPG. Okay. It kind of looked like Xenoverse, but again, I don't know much about it. So that one's kind of lost for me. I would like to get into Dragon Ball one day, but, uh, I don't really watch, um, anime. Hmm. So, that's a problem. I have a surprise for you. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> you want to guess what it is? Is it Banjo and Smash? This is an outfit for a newborn. You bought it this morning. You wanted to surprise me. I'm sorry. You're pregnant. You know? I know because you already gave it to me. This has happened before. What? What are you talking about? What's going on? Someone is coming. He's going to hurt us. He says you killed your father. I need to know what happened. How does this escalate like this? Why are you doing this? My father died. Died of a heart attack? No. I, 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 I didn't have anything to do with... Any second now, he's gonna knock on that door. Help me. This isn't happening. What the fuck? This can't be happening. Police, open up. That's him. Did you call the police? We have a warrant. Please open the door. 
I didn't do anything! We're here to help. Don't listen to him. I'm your only chance. Open the door, right now! Don't do it. You know Don't me. let the Pope in. You. you have to believe me. Stop! No. You're under arrest. No. Hey! What? And Groundhog You're Day. Home. What are you doing? Are you okay? <laughs> what? <laughs> I have no idea what is going on with this trailer. I feel many emotions. But apparently, you only get to play it for 12 minutes. So, me too. I have so many questions and I don't think I can fit all my questions into a 12 minute segment. So, let's just move on with, um, Cell Shaded Deer, the game. Nice colors. The colors are weaving into a spire of flame. Bambi Simulator. Oh. Kind of like this song right now. This game looks kind of interesting. I'm not entirely sure what's going on, but, um, you know, you're a deer, you head fuck everything. Way to the woods. Coming 2020 for real this time. What the- was this a game they previously announced? Listen, my memory is shit. I don't remember, like, all the little indie games that they show each year. So here's Gears. Not the Funko Pop Gears, though. This is like Miley Cyrus in G minor music. Ah. I I'm Billy Eyelash? Yeah, yeah. That's who this is. I don't know what is going on. I guess multi personality disorder? <laughs> That's the only thing I can draw from that, maybe. From the Coalition, please welcome studio head Rod Ferguson. Yeah, video games. Guys, I don't even know what emotion I'm feeling right now. I need Thanks to go everyone. grab a drink. I'll be We're right back. I'm excited to announce that Gears 5 is releasing on September 10th. Wow, September! And if you want to play four days early, you can with our Ultimate Edition or membership in the newly announced Xbox Game Pass Ultimate. With Gears of War 4, we wanted to earn your trust. But with Gears 5, we want to push the envelope by doing new things never seen in a Gears game before. And we'll tell you all about it this summer. In July, join us for okay. our versus multiplayer tech test, where you'll be one of the first to play an all-new competitive game type, Arcade. In August, at Gamescom, go hands-on with the all-new Horde mode and see how character abilities can turn the tide on the battlefield. 
In September, we return to the Biggest Gears campaign ever, where we'll explore more of Kate's harrowing journey and celebrate our launch on September 10th. Please, but what are we talking I want to see that Gears Funko today, game so I can stab myself in the left big toe. In escape, you play as one of three hive busters. You if it looks good enough, I might cut the toe off. the bomb and escape with your life. Because we all know the best defense is a good offense. It's everything you love about Gears turned up to 11. I had an old roommate once that told me that Gears was the epicest game ever. That was his exact quoting. So, I'm sure he's like doing jumping jacks right now. Never played a Gears game personally. What? I can't... Why are we under the stage? They attacked, and we lost everything. Everything except the need for revenge. This might look like a surrender, but it's not. It's an invasion. Aliens! Xenomorph! Oh, actually, it kind of is Xenomorph. Dude, I love that dude's beard. I get it. Gore the game. What? <laughs> Wait, what? This song. Why, why do we got crazy train though? This wait What the fuck is this song? <laughs> Ooh, nice I don't know who that rapper is, or the, the you know the guy who was like, "Let's go!" But that this is giving me some serious nostalgia because my dad used to listen to that kind of music a lot. I hope you enjoyed your taste. Me personally, not really, but three-player co-op experience, perfect. Little nostalgia with couch. that kind of music. But it's not just about busting hives. You can build them too and challenge your friends with the experiences you create. And tonight, join me on Mixer as we challenge these oh, three Mixer. WWE superstars, Xavier Woods. That dude is too excited to be working with Mixer. To survive a gameplay deep dive from right here in the hive. Everyone get For your resident home, sleepers. The next two days, you and your friends can play in select Microsoft stores. So good luck out running the swarm, and we'll see you on the leaderboards. Oh, and for anyone who pre-orders or plays within the first week, we've got something special just for you. Someone said, my what? This. Get that. 
get that out. Get to the chopper. Wrong Terminator. I think. I'm not sure. Actually, that might not be wrong. Elite. Controller 2. Is it advanced, though? More ways to customize is nice. I like the Xbox One controller. This was another thing that I was just talking with my roommates about. Oh, selectable profiles. That's actually kind of nice. More options is great. This is a... The, the Xbox One controller is a good controller. I'd say it's top five, but probably lower on that list of top five, probably like number four or five. But I'm also, you know, I got a soft spot for the Pro Controller, the GameCube Controller. No doubt about it though, Wii Remote, horizontally, perfect controller. That was a joke. Please, that was a joke. That was life. absolutely a joke. Never forget who I am, where I come from. But in this place, nobody even wants to know my name. Getting attached is dead. Because when darkness comes, I might be gone. I generally put the Switch Pro controller as my favorite controller at the moment. GameCube is good. Tore society apart, but I it's a loud it controller. An I don't like to stream with it. If I can, uh... Staying alive, pick anything other than a GameCube controller when I'm streaming something, then I probably survive. will. I do Every like the, uh, the octagonal rifts in us. the analog they stick. That's probably my favorite are, part of the GameCube controller. God, I was playing Celeste today, and I My kept doing the Andy, wrong analog direction. I, I know I shouldn't be using the D-pad, but, you know, I'm a filthy normie that doesn't use D-pads. Not usually, anyways. World I also like bean buttons. It just makes the X and Y feel more, uh, distinct. Oh yeah, I, I called it, guys! Instant! Instant bingo! Car on stage! Yeah! What the fuck? Why are- why are there Lego cars? Why are there Lego cars in Forza? What the fuck? Alright, never mind. Lego Forza? I'll buy that. If it's just the Lego cars. Alright. All right. <sighs> All right. I kind of have a soft spot for Legos. Not a 
huge fan of racing games despite my love for Mario Kart. That might be the only exception. I guess I like party racing, but I don't really like realistic racing. But, um... This kind of just... This looks good. It's an expansion, though. Please welcome Ralph Fulton. Ralph Bluton? Oh, the car is a Lego car, so it's a half bingo. Combine McLaren's passion oh. for design with about half a million of Lego's legendary bricks. Oh, you get this, this legendary lot. Lego Speed Champions McLaren Senna. Combine the beauty and freedom of Horizon with the playful fun of Lego. You get the Forza Horizon Forza. 4 Lego Speed Champions expansion. You will drive this I feel like this guy shows Lego up Speed every Champions year. Cars in an entirely new world, packed with inventive new challenges, new areas to explore, and loads of bricks. Loads of the bricks. The Forza Horizon 4 Lego Speed Champions expansion launches this week. Oh, I'll shit. See you there. Time to buy an Xbox. Oh, here it is. Yeah. <laughs> Get out the knife. Ah. Goodbye, toes. <laughs> All right, so I'm one less toe now. It's okay. We didn't need it. Funko Pop has to be my least favorite thing ever. They don't even look good. Most of them look kind of gross and scary. Oh. It's a mobile game. Oh. Oh, this looks even worse than I thought. Uh, uh, it, I, you, you know, if it looked kind of like the, the starting CG trailer, maybe it could have been acceptable, but, um, yeah, that's a nope for me, chief. Hard, hard pass. What is My this? Mission. Find the father I never knew. My mission, find a hero I've never met. He hasn't radioed in days. He hasn't been seen since the outbreak. The last time I heard his voice. The last place he was seen was in Trumbull Valley. Was in Chernobyl. I've only heard whispers. I've he was underground, legend. mining I've naked. I've seen horrors. Here, we are the many. Here, we can become stronger. For so long, I was just surviving. Now people are counting on me. This is where my story could end. This is Why would you bury your gold during the apocalypse? I thought we had seen everything. We ain't seen nothing yet. Oh. Never watched that show, so I, w I wouldn't know. Oh, available now. Mm. Colonel. World premiere. Oh, here's Sonic. Just kidding. Japan's greatest online RPG launches in the West via Xbox One. No idea what this is. Oh, 
I was gonna say it looks good, but it also looks, um, pretty compressed, which I don't know if that's the stream or the game, but apparently this is Fantasy Star Online. Of course, we gotta have some Gundams in there. I remember playing Xenoblade X being like, wow, what a cool concept. And then I look at other games, it's like, wow. Yeah, it was kind of, um, not the first time we have ever seen that, and most games did it better than Xenoblade X. So. A never ending quest. That's what Todd Howard says us. Uh, uh, Elder Scrolls 6 will be. He says you want to play it for a whole decade. Those of you who have played Fantasy Star know that this game had influenced many of the most popular games today. Yeah, so I kind of like my delight, games to end. We welcome Sega back to our stage. Then again, I play Minecraft, Fantasy so Star I should just shut the fuck up. Xbox. As we said, our goal on Team Xbox is to bring you the world's best games. Meeting with developers, playing their games, and introducing you to their games, these are the best parts of my job. Back at E3 2017, when I first met with the creators of this next game, they shared their ambition to bring their massively popular game with its passionate community of 650 million PC players to the entire world. I'm happy Where you get to those numbers from, Wikipedia? With the legendary team at Smilegate. Their approach to game design demonstrates sheer creative boldness. Next year, you'll discover Did the you guys see the guy on in this the very far franchise. left on console, who keeps staring straight the into the camera? Time, only on Xbox. This is Crossfire X. World premiere. Here it is. Crossfire X. <laughs> Sheer creative bullshit. As per E3 tradition, we get a lot of pre-rendered trailers, so, um... So anyone watching this, just be sure to keep an open mind that, um... The final game might not look like this. This looks beautiful, but, um... You know... I'm skeptical... Of how good it will actually look. And I realize the Xbox One X, Box One X, Box One X is a powerful system, but, um, you know. Just, um, be cautious with what you believe. Alright, so this might actually be gameplay. Maybe. Crossfire. If you're referring to, you think that there's gonna be another Smash reveal at the end of this. Please. Keep your, uh... <laughs> keep your expectations in check. I'm gonna say no. World premiere. Apparently Miyamoto's gonna be here. I don't know if that's true or not, but, uh, I'm still gonna say no. There's gonna be nothing related to that today. Anyway, so here's, um, Dragon Quest? No, no. Bandai doesn't do that. 
What is this? Tails? Tails? See you later, Tails! Alright, Tails! Oh god. This does look visually good. Visually good, as I said. Break free. This game looks gorgeous, but, um... No streamer is gonna have a bitrate to be able to record this game. So it's gonna be really hard to sell people on this game. Tales of Arise. I've never played any Tales of games. Is Saikoden Sensu, uh, is that related to the Tales series at all, or is that completely different? For some reason, that game, There's like, popped into my head universe. after thinking of Tales. Of my name is Lilith. Also, here's Borderlands. And I need you. There it is! Borderlands Racing Transformed! Just kidding. Borderlands 2 was the one that had like the secret Easter egg with the creepers and stuff, right? I saw my uncle play that game. I have not played a Borderlands game, but, uh, I think I would enjoy this series. No! Oh, you can't swear. Not at- not at E3. You can say fuck the Oscars at Game Awards, but... You know, E3. We're above that. Of the Vault is a psycho cult. Ten billion followers demand we join or die. We've got another proposal for them. They had to censor it. These are some good creepits. Give it me more shoot. I need many more shoot. So beautiful. This does look good though. I do like... <laughs> I had someone at work tell me, like, I don't want to play Borderlands. That game looks like a cartoon. And then they proceeded to talk about Apex and Fortnite. Um. But no, seriously, I, I love the art style of Borderlands. Ah, uh, but wait, there's more! You buy this and now you can get... Oh, they already talked about this. Borderlands 2 Adventure. Okay, free DLC for a game that's World been out for a premiere. while now. But hey, that's good. Set up Borderlands 3. Oh wait, no, not that game either. That was actually Conker's music, but yeah. That which commanded the stars. <laughs> life. I'm sorry, Luke. Someone or something. 
I don't know what this is. Don't tell me you don't see it. Look up at the sky. It burns. Someone said, I need to play more of these jokes more often. Well, before I close my bingo tab, one of the bingo slots was Surge says something that's not funny. So I'm working on trying to get that bingo slot. Let me know when I hit the not funny part. Here, let's try this. Gabe eats cheese. Oh, wait. Damn it. Someone thinks that one's funny. Um. Nope, oh, I'm out. Please welcome back, Phil Spencer. He didn't go anywhere, but he's been walking around. From multinational so welcome studios, him back. One person passion he project. went to the bathroom, I guess. Thousands of Xbox games are in development for you right now. Just today, we showed you 60 games. Wait, already? We are now experiencing an unmatched expansion. That was already 60 games? On Xbox. Gaming for you means connecting We've all only of been here for an hour and 20 minutes. All of you. Last fall, we announced our ambition to empower everyone everywhere to play. Normally, Xbox goes about 2 hours. Xbox to the cloud. Yeah, and we, we didn't see Halo this in two ways. Through Project X Cloud and through console streaming. 2 months ago, we connected all Xbox developers to Project X Cloud. <laughs> Today, we invite those of you here at E3 for our first public hands-on of Project X Cloud. Oh boy, live demos. To experience the freedom to play right here at the show. And you'll have two ways to stream. There's a new platform feature, console streaming. It turns your Xbox One into your own personal and free X Cloud server. Wow. Whether you're using a console in our but if data you have or your five over five at home, internet October, speed, fuck you. You'll be able to use our hybrid or if you live out in the country, to play your games wherever you go. And not in a city. Where you play is now entirely your choice. You decide. So let's talk about our next console. Oh. Okay, I didn't think they would touch on this, but okay. The next the box. The is vital and central to our experience. We heard you. A console should be designed and built and optimized for one thing and one thing only, gaming. Gamers! So the same team that created the world's most powerful console, Xbox One You say X, that and innovated its groundbreaking processor and the Elite Controller. The same team that engineered the world-class compatibility of today's Xbox One consoles. The same team that set the bar for live gaming services with Xbox Live. This same team set out on a new mission to create the future of gaming for you. Oh shit. What are we going to see? When we think about the future of gaming, it's not just PC, it's not just console, it's not just mobile. It's really all of the above. <laughs> Even though Xbox, Xbox is Live is down You're almost every day. Technology all throughout the game stack. The games you want with the people you want on the devices that you want. And for us, that starts with our next generation console. Who is that guy? I feel like I've seen him before we don't somewhere. Build just another console. We truly want it to be transformative. More immersion, more exploration, more detail. So how do we make it easier for people to get into the game, to stay in the game? <laughs> One of the things that gamers and developers are incredibly excited about is reducing load times. I'm an RPG gamer, and so like loading screens are a thing. You're sitting there, yes, in a fake elevator. Yes, absolutely. That is a fact you just the said there. It's yes, they are. They forever. exist. That's our goal with gaming: is that you don't have those pauses. This generation is going to be a bigger leap than any generation we've done before. Are you sure about that? 
At the heart of our next generation console is our custom design. I won't be sold unless the Xbox the One, Zen Xbox Two, Four, Five, from our Nine at AMD. is more from powerful than my PC. This is four times more and cheaper than, than it. the Xbox One X. We're leveraging oh, really? high bandwidth GDDR6 to ensure that we're getting the best performance possible. It's going to usher in resolution and frame rates that we've never seen before. Like, never seen before. And that we're humans are just incapable of processing because we don't have second. technology that's okay. that good yet. Capability, variable refresh rate. Next gen ray tracing. It's real time because it's hardware accelerated for the first time ever. What I'm personally most excited about is the SSD. We've SSDs, those are good terms to of shoot around. We're actually using the SSD as virtual RAM. We're seeing more than 40 if this thing costs, performance increases over the current generation. You know, if the controller the costs as much as the Apple stand, you really know, what gives you a totally new experience. this now we can will probably be too advanced for so people. So more life in that price and, and, and games in are important. Way, so that then you're fully experiencing what the game developer wants you to experience. When you can move through worlds without waiting for screens to load, that speed, that performance is what the next generation is about. This is the most immersive also how much are you going to be continuing ever. your cross things with like giving really your games to other consoles the power to build the game Microsoft including PC we have hundreds of people across both our first party studios as well as our third party studios working on those next generation experiences today it's an amazing commitment these are just my offhand questions studios. 13 studios seven in the last year that's a big family at 343 for us it's always Halo about mythos more seamless worlds with the next generation, we can bring the world to life in a way we've never experienced Halo before. We're delivering four generations of content. Yeah, loading screens just them. depends on the optimization of the game, awesome really. I mean, yeah, console hardware can time, make a difference, but all the games within just the snap of your fingers. We're giving gamers the option to connect across devices and across platforms in a way that we never were able to before. This isn't just a console launch. This is Where's about Miyamoto? the future of gaming. Your games, your achievements, your progression, your accessories. Yeah, optimization will only go so far, though. With Xbox, that is it true. All comes forward with Scarlet. Scarlet. Oh, Project Scarlet. Okay. Holiday 20... It Wait, it's coming out then? For breakfast. Or that's when we're getting more information. This is Project Scarlet. The most powerful and Scarlet. highest performing console we've ever designed. Built for creators to unleash their boldest creative visions and optimized for players to enjoy the ultimate gaming experience on a console anywhere. Immersive experiences begin at the very heart of the console, at the silicon level itself. Together with our partners at AMD, we have co-engineered and custom designed a state-of-the-art processor for Project Scarlet. Power you could see defined previous generations. Power and performance I like you how can they see and feel put subtitles for applause when we talk about above the screen. Play, you see how they are Xbox in the cloud. When we talk about doing the subtitles game, there, that's great. Project I like Scarlet that. and all of its power and all of its performance is the foundation of our future in console and the formation of our future in cloud. We launched Xbox 18 years ago. Wow. With the game reviewers called Old enough to the buy cigarettes. reason to own an Xbox. Well, because humanity was and is worth saving, next holiday, we will launch Project Scarlet with Halo. Here's your Halo. Good job.
Oh. Ow. The breach is detected. The base is under attack. And he's dead. Masahiro Sakurai is calling. Daddy's listening. Can you say hi? Hi. And how big are you? I'm baby. Can you tell Daddy how big you are? Are you so big? So big. <laughs> so big. Can you how about, I miss you. Miss you. And I love you. I love you. I love you, Daddy. I love you, Daddy. And I can't wait to see you. Can you say see you? See you. Okay, then. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Oh, me. And now he's dead. Come on, Star Lord. Signal detected. Tag This is UNSC Pelican Echo 216. Can you hear me? This is UNS. Oh, he did. Master dead. Is this just the suit, or is there a dude in there? Looks like the main power cells are fried. Auto shut down. Triggering survival mode. I'm going to try to override. Okay. You can hear me in there. Well, I guess I there is a ready. person. Please don't die. Please. Look at that JavaScript. Yes! And now we got yes! the Metroid Prime UI. Yes! We're going home! <laughs> Master Chief's gonna kill oh. this dude, watch. Welcome back, Chief. I rerouted what little power I had into your suit. Hmm. Looks like there's a problem with the servos in your hands. Stay calm. You've been out there a while. I know I saw something in here to check your armor's diagnostics. No, don't continue. No! Bad chief! Whoa, 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 easy there, big guy. You're not. Status report. Status report? What? There's something you need to see, chief. Lost. Lost everything. There's nothing left for us here. The halo is gone. Oh, here is. No, 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 Not then. Not again. We need to run. No. We need to fight. Get ready. I'm all about kicking ass. I am Duke. Chief. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. You gotta collect the missing shards of the halo. It's a different kind of MacGuffin this time around. I knew we would be perfect together. And I was 
right. Thanks, Cortana. I said, I don't know what happened to Cortana in the last game. As far as I'm aware, Cortana is a lie. Also, rare is a joke. Anyone who's thinking bear Banjo, I'm sorry. We got Battle Toads from Rare, and we had Sea of Thieves. So, maybe next year. Rare does have whatever third unannounced project in the works. But, I wasn't really thinking we'd be seeing Banjo today, so... I'm just gonna put that out there. I'm sorry, Banjo fans, though. There was a little bit of me holding out. But, yeah, Halo was the star of the show this year. This was an okay show. Um, Halo was the only real big thing that really, like, piqued my interest out of everything there. Um, but, yeah, that's it. Show's over, folks. That's all we got. All right. Well, there you go. There's E3. So let's discuss for a moment, shall we? Also, there was <laughs> there was a brief moment of me setting up with no uh with nothing uh, enabled. Let me go turn on this other light real quick. Okay. So, hello. Hi, welcome to Video Game Stream. I, my name is uh, John, John Video Game. Hope you are uh, looking forward to the show because, um, well, it's over. So. But yeah, that was... Uh, that was a show. It definitely existed. I'll say that much about it. <laughs> you know, there were there were things that happened during this show. Uh, okay, I'm gonna do something over here. Let's do display capture. All right, and we're gonna just put that right there behind that. All right, so overall, you know, like I said, it was okay. Um, Xbox is working on their next console, and we got we got to see Halo. So, you know, there's some good things there. Overall, let me get this uh, border a little gooder. All right, so yeah, so that was that. That was um, that. A lot of the games I went. Yeah, I would agree. Um, just so many questions. Yeah, a lot of those trailers were just really weird. Uh, I'm gonna go back to uh, the videos here, and I'm gonna. We're just gonna watch. We're gonna look at that. Bud. All right, so um, I'm going to keep this a little low. But uh, a lot of CGI, yeah, not very much gameplay. I think um, I think Xbox is more gearing up, no pun intended, with the gear stuff, but uh, 
I think Xbox is more gearing up for whatever this, um, whatever they called it. I already forget. Scarlet Project Scarlet. That's really what Xbox is focused on right now. We didn't really see a lot of new uh, announcements today, did we? Like a lot of this stuff was stuff that they announced last year, but what of the show was a new announcement, I guess, for anyone that follows Xbox more close? Um, Cyberpunk we knew about, you know, Battletoads we knew about. I think this is new. Uh, I forget the name of it, but, you know, was it, I think this might have been new. Let's see. I usually watch Expo I usually watch all the the main um conferences. Uh I won't unfortunately be able to stream Bethesda's show tonight as much as I would love to. Um work called is telling me that I have to come in early today, so Unfortunately, we'll have to miss Bethesda's, but on the other hand, I'm not the biggest Bethesda fan. Um, I like their games. Well, I can't really say that I like their games because I don't really, I haven't really played much of their games. For those who don't know, like, I, you know, growing up, only really had Nintendo consoles and... I've recently been slowly trying to expand my way out, but at the same time, I'm not buying games left and right to the point where, you know, after I got over, you know, being, you know, just a, only owning Nintendo, like I just got a PS4 back in Christmas. And so far, the only game that I've played on PS4 is Persona 5. Uh, I mean, even my Switch, like I haven't been playing a lot of games this year. The you know, I haven't been streaming lately just because I've been busy with stuff outside of, you know, stream life. And I actually haven't really been playing much. The only thing I've been playing off stream lately is Minecraft and Celeste. I've been playing on my Switch a little bit, but, you know, Celeste is, I think, a year old now. So um, let's flip through again, see see some of these announcements. They got Canal Reeves. Up on stage, that was good. I don't know how to pronounce his first name at all, but you know. This is the game they opened with, right? Blair Witch? Or no, they opened with the Star Wars. That's right. Um, so yeah, yesterday at EA they showed this game off. It looked good. I like the combat. I like the way the combat looks. Um You know it is this looks like it's gonna be a pretty good game overall, I'd say. Will I pick it up? I don't know. I'm generally not the biggest Star Wars guy, but it looks pretty all right. You know, that's about all I can say about it, though. Uh, Borderlands, I'll probably end up getting. This game, what was this game called? I like the way this one looked. What was the name? Spirit, Spirit Firer. Fairer, I guess it's a like a ferry, like a boat, I guess. It's kind of what's going on here. The deer game looked good. I don't remember what that one was called. I'm bad with names. Battle Todd looks good. Battle Toads is kind of a meme in my friend group. Um you know, Battle Toads itself. I've played the arcade, I've played the NES game. Um it's okay, Battletoads, uh, NES, and Arcade. Um, I'm, I wouldn't call myself a fan, but, you know, I know my friend Antonio is going to be really looking forward to this, and, you know, maybe I might play this game once or twice on stream with him, but other than that, this is not a game that I would pick up an Xbox for, <laughs> just for that. I mean, if it comes to PC, then maybe, you know, like most games seem to on Xbox. And Game Pass. Game Pass. All right. Let me talk about Game Pass for a second. Xbox Game Pass actually looks legit like a like a really good deal. 
you know, you've got $14.99 for the console, Xbox Live Gold, and Game Pass on PC. That's pretty good. And it was only like, what, $10 just for just for the PC? I don't know what Xbox Live does for me as being an only PC gamer. I don't know if I need that for anything. But I know that that's basically like the Xbox Online and stuff like that. I know there's it's more than just that, but I don't know what Xbox Live entails. Um, but yeah, the the Game Pass thing, it seems really nice. And the fact that it's coming to PC, great. And yeah, there was that rumor a while back that it was coming to Switch. I don't think that that's... I don't remember if it was proven false or not, but I don't believe that it will ever become real. <laughs> but... Hey, PC, that's good enough. I've got a PC right here. You know, that's all I need. I know not everyone does, but... This is in, you know, $10 a month for, you know, what, 100 games? You know, shit. And you can play them as long as you're subscribed to them? Seems like a really good deal to me. They got some Halo games. They got a, They got the Borderlands collection, which, you know... If I'm going to go play Borderlands game before three, you know, that's probably what I would end up going with at that point. Um, now the Star Wars thing, all nine films. Um, you know, I was just talking about Lego Star Wars with a friend of mine the other day, and it's a game that I'm kind of like weirdly nostalgic for. Like we got we just got the announcement the other week of that SpongeBob battle for bikini bottom rehydrated i think it's called and i really like battle for bikini bottom <laughs> surprisingly great game if you've never played it uh you know you would think that a uh you know licensed game to you know some kind of third party developer you know based off of like cartoon wouldn't it be great but you know early 2000s there were a lot of surprisingly good games related to like movies and tv shows that were coming out at the time you know thq nordic you know they did the spongebob game the, the battle for bikini bottom was a great game also, the, the one that was based off of the SpongeBob SquarePants movie, I remember that being a good game. Um, there were a couple of other games that I played that, that were based off of like Nickelodeon shows and such. Decent games. Um, and, you know, now we're getting that one remade. And, you know, going back to Star Wars, like now that we're getting an HD version of Star Wars here, you know, I don't know if that's necessarily going to be HD, like, because they did, um, so the first Lego Star Wars was just the prequels, and then they released a second Lego Star Wars that was the original trilogy, and then eventually they released a complete edition that had one through six. I'm wondering if this Lego Star Wars here is going to be, okay, here's the complete edition, plus here's the ones that were from episodes seven, eight, nine. I know that they made a Lego Star Wars for what was it? It was Last Jedi. Was that is that right? It was one of them. I'm pretty sure they made a one off Lego Star Wars game for episode seven. Um, but yeah. If that's just going to be like an HD collection of one through six and, you know, seven, eight, nine, you know, I'm, I might avoid the seven, eight, nine segment and just play one through six. But, you know, I really like the Lego Star Wars games, honestly. Great shit right there. Some really good, genuine multiplayer. If not, if it doesn't end up turning that, you know, you could expect me to try to stream. Lego Star Wars 1 through or like the complete edition but I don't know because Disney is really weird especially with copyrights and on YouTube specifically copyrights are going mental right now there is no Last Jedi well I think it was 
It was what, what was the name of of um, Star Wars Seven? Why why can't I remember the name of that? Star Wars Seven was oh that's Force Awakens. Okay, I got the names of them mixed up. I'm pretty sure there was a Lego game for Force Awakens. That's what I meant to say. Excuse me. Um. But yeah, like let's see what else was there. Dragon Ball. It's Dragon Ball. I can't. I like I said. I would like to watch Dragon Ball. I would like to get into it because a lot of my friends who do watch anime and such tell me that I would probably like Dragon Ball. I don't know if that's accurate or not, but um, you know, I hear a lot. There's a, there was a lot of hype behind Fighter Z coming to Switch, and um, I believe Xenoverse. Two is on Switch as well, which I know those are like fighting games, but still. Yeah, a lot of these trailers were just like confusing. Not not very much gameplay. I mean, you got the point across. You got some reveals. This game looked good. This one's weird. I kind of like the concept of this game. Like, I'm imagining it to be kind of like the flying in a Wii Sports Resort. I don't know if that's actually how this is going to be. Where you just fly around and, like, you know, just mess around. But I don't know how long and interesting of a game that would be for, you know, $60. So... Maybe it's more than that, but Flight Simulator, there it is. If you like planes, I know Melvin will be all over that. That's why. Thank you so much, and thank um, but yeah, really, Halo was was the biggest thing for me. I I'm actually genuinely interested in that Halo game. I still barely know shit about it, but hey, I think I I might actually pick it up. Uh, especially since it's going to be a launch title for the Project Scarlet, which is is that going to be the name of it? Like they they announced it's coming out this holiday, or or is it? Did they say next holiday? That hang on, did they say twenty twenty or did they say twenty nineteen on that holiday? They said holiday, but I didn't see the year. I think they said twenty twenty. Okay, yeah, they did. Okay, so it's not this year, but next year. So next year, E3 will be, um, I imagine we'll be getting the full blowout of that. But, you know, we'll see. Also, you know, I had negative 10 expectations for Funko Pop Gears game. And it found a way to disappoint me. <laughs> like, at the very least, you know, the, the CGI trailer at the start was like, oh, shit. This could, act, you know, if this is how the game looks, you know, this isn't terrible, you know, and then it's just like mobile game. What what was it called? Someone, someone in chat mentioned what it was basically remnant of. Um, I don't remember what mobile game. Chat cuts off at a certain point. Clash. Yeah. Clash of something. Uh, yeah. It looked good. Just kidding, it didn't look good at all. <laughs> but, yeah. Free kittens. Um. Fantasy Star. Yeah, I, I mean. When I, when I picture Xbox. You know. Really, like, strong Japanese style games. Like Fantasy Star Online and like, what was that other like anime game that they showed? You know, anime game. You know, I I really don't think Xbox is the is the demographic for it. Like I yeah I get it. There are there are some owners of an Xbox, but um, you know, there's kind of a reason why the Xbox isn't doing great in Japan. But I mean, at the same time, I guess. You still kind of have to have something to appeal to those people in Japan, but it's it's just it's just kind of comical how like 
little there is. Like there there is like a couple here and there, but it's really nothing like like what? You know. I don't have Forza 4. The last Forza game I played was I think 3. Maybe. On it was on 360. I remember I remember doing a custom car and making a really shitty Mario on the side of my car because I was a Nintendo fanboy, so I wanted to make Xbox fanboys mad. <sighs> if that if that Forza Lego thing was its own game, I would actually buy it. But if it's an expansion to um Four? I don't know. I'll have to look into how four is, because I don't know anything about it otherwise. Probably won't get it. If anyone's, like, sitting there being like, ooh, I really hope he's getting it. Probably not, but, you know, it is a maybe, you know. If I ever see myself in the situation where it is an option, like I don't have to pay for an Xbox One, Xbox One X, Xbox One X, then yeah, maybe. Um, but uh, we'll see. Halo looks good, though. If this is what the game is going to look like, which I can actually believe it, because this looks, this looks in engine. This doesn't really look like that much CG. Like, yeah, there's some visual effects happening here, but, you know... Mass Effect was able to do some similar stuff. Not, you know, not Andromeda, but, you know. You know, just kind of look back, you know. See, now, I'm going to be talking shit. Or, like, I talk like I know what I'm talking about, but deep down, a lot of this shit, I don't know what I'm talking about, so... Yeah, someone's gonna hear me say Mass Effect looks good and they'll be like, um, that game clearly looks last gen. Leave me alone. I like Irishman, though. This this was a good man. More Lego Speed Champions cars. I'll bash you up proper next time, I swear. But, um, yeah. So, that's Xbox. I don't really have much more to add, really. Um, Xbox conference was... Uh, let's, let's give it a rating. How, how would you guys rate the, the Xbox conference? I'm going to give it, personally, like a... Out of five scale... Okay, let's do it out of ten. Okay. Six out of ten. Um, yeah, I was going to say three out of five. So, yeah, six out of ten. It was good. Not, you know. I definitely think last year, I, I remember last year Xbox having a strong impression on me uh, with their showing of E3. This year? Kind of underwhelming, really. But, you know, that's just me. Slightly underwhelming, but, you know, that's all I can say. Battle Todd. Battle Todd looked like Todd, so that's all we needed to know. The Todd or Todd. Speaking of Todd, there was no Todd Howard. Where, where's, where was Todd? Where's God? God wasn't there. God Howard was waiting for his own conference to do his screech, I guess. Um, but yeah, that's that. Um, I think I might play a little something. I'm not sure. Um, I'm going to go to a quick AFK at the very least. And then I'll let you know if I'll play anything or not. I do have work tonight and I should probably nap before going into work considering I've been up since uh you know like uh what what time did I get up today? I got up at like uh 6 a.m. 
only because I was really tired yesterday and I didn't go to bed till super late and I ended up sleeping till 6 a.m. So, oops. So, yeah, to kind of reset my sleep schedule, I will need to sleep before work, which it's six now, meaning I got about three hours. So, yeah, I can play a game for a little bit. 